What's up guys, the Jordan here, back again with another Shadowverse video. This is a deck and gameplay video, so if you enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. If we get over 50 likes in a week, I'll post some more gameplay with this deck. And the deck we're featuring today is this Ramp Dragon. You thought Dragon was dead after PDK, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, Ramp Dragon is still very good because, of course, um, Dragoncraft has a lot of cards that ramp up while still doing stuff. And then, so you just get that play point advantage, play big dudes before your opponent can start developing, and you just win the game. Um, this version of Dragon is using a combo version with the Queen of the Dread Sea. So basically, uh, when you have 10 play points, you play Queen of the Dread Sea, you make your Genesis Dragon at either an Ariette, or an Erd zero cost, then you just slam down the Genesis Dragon, hit them twice. So you could get up to 14 damage, 16 or like 18 damage depending how you do your combo, if you have an Evo point, etc. Um, this version is also playing Fortes, I got two Fortes in there just to be a bit more aggressive. Um, because it's not a full 20 damage combo, sometimes you need a little bit more. So the Fortes help with that, and also if you don't have your Queen of the Dread Sea, you could use Forte and Erd. So I'm running two Erds because it at least synergizes well with Isla if you really need that ramp. It's something to do. It also deals with things like Evolved Followers, Ancient Elves, etc. Um, I'm only r running one Ariette because Ariette's only really good with Genesis Dragon, especially if you have an Evo point. That's where you could max up to 18 damage. However, every time, otherwise, it's not that great. Um, sometimes you could like cheese people by ha having a big dude stick like a Bahamut or an Izrafil, then you play Ariette and him twice. But other than that area, it's like all really situational, so I cut it down to one just to make it, because a lot of times it just sits in your hand. Um, I'm running Triple Staircase of Paradise. This, is help, this helps you draw your combo because it makes you only draw followers rather than Fervor, which draws two from your deck. Um, staircase only draws followers, so you have an increased chance of drawing your combo. I'm running three, but you could probably run two. Um, so yeah, this is the list. Of course, we're running the Saha Quill Etherfill combos just to help deal with like aggressive decks. Um, couldn't find room to fit Lucifer in here, so you have less heal, but you have the Etherfill when you play. You heal four and the Fervors and the Sibyl, so that should be enough heal for you. Um, so yeah, this is the deck. I definitely recommend trying it out. It's actually pretty good on ladder, has pretty good matchups. So check it out if you like it. Like the video, subscribe, follow me, and the social media links down below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Right, we're up against Swordcraft. Uh, don't really see too many swords. There's been like some mid range swords going around. Just still a couple aggro swords. We'll throw back this hand. Not that great. This, is a, this hand's a bit better. We got the Paradise to play on one. Keeping the Breath earlier might have been okay because at least the Salamander. Breath, kill something. Pick up a Blazing Breath too, which is nice. So, uh, Staircase of Paradise, of course, is best to play on one because you get this countdown starting. Ooh, Dragon Oracle. Off to a good start. You didn't play a one drop, so that's good too. We're not taking like that early chip damage. There's a Perseus, so he just drew it, I guess. Um, hmm. We'll go ahead and Blazing Breath that. There might be a situation where we could keep the Breath of Salamander for turn 6 um, and hence. I probably can't play Sibyl next turn just because I really want the, the ramp up. So we could wait a turn on it. He just played the Novice Trooper which I could Breath of the Salamander here. And I might as well just play the Scyther because I'm going to be able to refill my hand with the Staircase. And the Cypher challenges whatever he plays on board, especially when he's going on an evil turn. Keeping the Breath isn't as important anymore because we picked up the Izrafil as well. The Izrafil essentially does the same thing. So with what he's playing, it looks like he's playing a aggro sword and he just had a bad uh, slow opening. So this should be a free win. Even pick up the Sahakuil, so we have Sahakuil Izra. Keep our Scyther onto the board. Now he has to deal with his Sybil. So going on to turn 5, so like the best thing he could do is like Albert, which isn't even that great. Um, he would just have to chuck an Albert Evolve. Kanoichi Trainer works. Oh, this is 
Interesting. Okay, so he's just going to, um, yeah, not attack here. Just try and push face damage. There's no point playing the Sahakua, so I'm just going to go staircase here. Hit him for 8. We could have him for 10 with the Scyther by evolving it, but I don't really see the point in that. Um, if he does, if he ignores his board, I have Lethal next turn anyways with the Israfil. So I just Saha Israfil and then evolve the Scyther. So still Lethal. And then he he might just ignore this Scyth, ignore my board. Does he just plan on like ignoring the Sybil? This is, his board doesn't kill the Sybil, so I'm just going to go face with this. Oh, he's just not going to attack, okay. If we draw Ariad off the Dorko, we just win. Mm. I guess I might as well just do this. How does he... How does he get 10 from his hand? It's impossible, right? It's just over. You do 15. Gonna go for the clear. Could've been better to just slam the Fill actually. Doesn't really matter. That's just lethal. Another swordcraft. Ooh, I gotta keep these. <laughs> Such a good hand. And if it's like a mid-range sword, it's just really good for us. No turn one play. So it should be good. The rest of the cards we drew aren't that great, but at least we have the staircase. That's fine, we can just go ahead and oracle here. Question is like, do I want to play staircase on 5 just to get things going? I might have to. Yeah, I mean on turn, fo turn 4 here we're not doing anything, we can't play it. Or we could further next turn, that's even better. Having like two staircase counting down sometimes works, but you don't want to play them like turn on the same turn or a turn following because then um then you draw too many cards. Uh, we'll just go ahead and further here. We're not under too much pressure. I want the ramp. We can deal with that hedgehog. We get the heal anyways. Yeah, he has to respect this. I get the storm on my scyther now. Do I draw anything to play with it? Another scyther. I might just play Ur to be honest. Just to get something on the board. Yeah. I don't want to lose like the initiation here. Unfortunately, we don't get to draw off the paradise next turn. Um, because we're actually so low on the cards, we might actually be able to go double draw on the paradise. We are quite low, but fine. So if I go staircase and scyther, we go down three cards. Next turn we draw seven. So we actually don't overdraw. So we'll go for that. Okay. 
Next time I have Ithra Fell to heal up. Could have went Dragon Oracle to um Ooh, he got the So he's playing the mid range version I've been seeing. Um with it probably has some kind of buffer. But yeah, I was going to say we could have played Dragon Oracle last turn to possibly draw out a combo. And I thought we didn't overdraw. I miscounted, I guess. Um did we No, we wouldn't have drawn a combo, but it doesn't matter. Um yeah, so we just did the fit here. Clean, clear. Pretty much after this is refill is game over though. Like so we can't come back from it. He's just dead on board. <laughs> Got him. 